Belgium UFO sightings were in the late 1980s. They continued into the 1990s. We've all heard of the Bermuda Triangle, a mysterious region over the Atlantic Ocean where ships and planes have been said to simply disappear. Well, welcome to the Belgian Triangle, where a huge object suddenly appeared in the sky. Belgium is such a small little country, and you can imagine that um, in this small little country, hundreds of people seeing this enormous triangular object. Filmmaker James Fox has studied UFO sightings for many years. There was a very large, extremely large triangular shaped craft that could uh, maneuver silently in the night sky, very slow, very low. The Belgian craft was witnessed by, by hundreds of people, including police officers. With something that large hanging over them, the Belgians didn't waffle. They sent in military jets. They scrambled the F-16 jets. They locked the radar on it. It showed up triangular on their radar. But every time the F-16 jets would close in on it, the object would just completely outperform them and was gone. So they couldn't get close to it. The object dropped from 10,000 feet to 500 feet in a few seconds. Wow. That's not like, you know, uh, super technology. That's Star Trek. Perhaps the answer lies in this photo. There was a pretty impressive photograph taken of the craft that was analyzed, and you can actually see structure in between the lights. The picture that was made available to the media was enhanced by photographic computer techniques. But it's basically what the witness saw and what the witness described. Yes, that was probably one of the better UFO pictures that shows structure. Still, all this isn't enough to sway those who are skeptical about alien life form. If there was a real UFO that was flying around Belgium, when these pilots went up and went looking for it, they should be in a better position to see it than people on the ground, but they saw nothing. I guess the thing that bothers me the most about the whole UFO business is that the best claims are always these sort of fuzzy photographs and grainy videos and lots of anecdotes about things that go bump in the night that are never consistent with one another. If we're going to claim that we've discovered what would be essentially the discovery of the millennium, extraterrestrials have come here, we need really solid evidence. Not any of this this sort of nebulous, fuzzy data. So just what was that giant triangle? Investigator Phil Embrogno decided to trek on over to Belgium to find out for himself. I talked to the witnesses who saw the object that night, I can tell you that they were telling the truth from my point of view. And um, once again, we see over the years that UFOs are becoming less and less shy and are showing themselves to more and more individuals. As long as they respect the term personal space, we should all get along just fine.